school breakfast bill that was dead just a few days ago has new life today. Supporters uniting over the weekend, and now the bill is moving forward on Utah's Capitol Hill. House Bill 222, which authorizes federal funds to expand the school breakfast program to more schools in Utah, is making a comeback. Never say never and never really you know, discount the power of constituent phone calls and making sure that you know our policymakers are held accountable. The bill failed in the Senate Economic Development and Workforce Services Committee just last Thursday. Today, it passed that very same committee on a unanimous vote. Social media and the press that it got in the media, just in, you know, traditional media, I think really, really turned this around. Senator David Hinkins was one of the no votes last week. He admits he got an earful. I wanted to be able to uh, uh, I'll let the school superintendents, the school boards locally decide, but then I caught all kinds of hell over it. The senator says the committee doesn't typically take up education bills and it boils down to a misunderstanding. After hearing from teachers, he sponsored an amendment which was added to the bill. So it'll actually get more kids, more opportunities to have uh, meals for breakfast and for lunch. Senator Lyle Hilliard is sponsoring the bill on the Senate floor. He's confident it's now on the right track to address a problem students all across the state are dealing with. They don't have breakfast. And some of them don't even have lunch or dinner. Uh, you're kind of scrounging for it. And I think it's important that we, as a state, step up and help those children. The bill still needs to be approved by the full Senate. The House will also need to approve the changes made today in committee.